Hey guys, so I'm finally recording my kit video. It's been long awaited. I was never happy with the way it looked. Uh, right now, I kind of feel like I'm comfortable showing it to you, but I will definitely make some updated versions of it as time goes on. So if you don't know me, my name is Anna Agostina. I'm a makeup artist based in New York and Milan, and I'm a bit obsessed with kit condensing. So let's just get started. My entire makeup kit fits in this reliable bag. It's the medium one. You can get it on Amazon. I think it's about $30. Let's start from the top part. This is the first uh, section of the kit I open when I set up. In here, I keep my portable trash can. This is from Amazon. It's actually thought for the car. Then I keep this little um, artist company pouch where I put all my uh, lash curlers. This is a tiny one, regular one, and scissors. And then I have this uh, silicone base mat. I really like it because it's very easy to clean and it's not wasteful. This is also from Amazon and it's linked down below. And last but not least, I keep two acrylic palettes. They're both from Artist Kit Company. So these are them. And on the top, I just keep a bunch of business cards and some cut rounds. I usually keep more in my luggage, but these are here just in case, because I don't want to run out of them. In this top section, I mainly keep some pencils. I have some brow pencils, lip pencils, neutrals, reds, and darker colors, neutral eye pencils, and colorful eye pencils. I then have this Laura Mercier cream shadow for mascara. The one I like is this Thrive mascara. It's a tubing mascara, which are my favorite type. I keep some hair clips. I like these ones by Artisky Company because they are bigger than the regular ones. And some bendable spatulas. This one is from Makeup Designery. And this one is from Artisky Company. I then keep a sharpener. I like this one from my Kitco because it doesn't make any mess. And a bunch of tweezers. This one for individual lashes, this for strip lashes, and a regular tweezer. In this pocket right here, I keep individual lashes. I like these ones from Lankes. I got them from Amazon. And some face tape which I mainly use for content. And now onto the main section. So let's start from the liquids. I keep a bunch of different foundations. I have some of the face and body foundation by MAC. This is a really good lightweight foundation. It gives a very sheer and glowy finish. And then I have a couple shades of the Armani Luminous Silk foundation which I also really, really love, especially for video and photography. This is a medium covered foundation and I find it works really well on oily skins as well. And I have just a few of the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue foundations that I like to mix and match. This is a very strange formula. It's very full coverage, but at the same time, extremely glowy. And I have one Gucci foundation in their deepest shade, just to make sure that I'm covered. I also carry the two Chanel highlighting fluids that I sometimes like to mix with foundation for a more glowy look. Some loose setting powders. This is the RCMA powder, and I love the Hourglass Veil powder. This is really good for dry skin. I keep a bunch of skincare, a Milk Hydro Grip, a MAC uh, matte primer, a toner for oily skin, Embrulis a Classic, and hand sanitizer. I really love this one. It has a light scent and it doesn't dry out my hands. I keep a bunch of sprays as well. First of all, 99% alcohol, which is a must in my kit. I use it to quickly clean brushes if I'm working on the same client and want to switch the color of the powder. Or to clean my acrylic palettes 
and my tools. Then I have some setting spray. I have two different ones, a final seal and a urban decay one. MAC Fix Plus, of course. This is the one with glitter in it. I love the regular one as well. This is just the one I have right now. A multi-active toner. And last but not least, the body glow oil. This one is from NUX. Moving on to this section right here, because I want to finish with all the skin prep products. This little guy, I really use a lot. It's a bunch of sample cups from Amazon that I glued together. In them, I keep my lip mask. This is Laneige a lip scrub, a lip balm that I like to use for men because it's not glowy, this one is from NUX, and Anastasia Brow Freeze, which is my favorite brow wax. For skin, I keep the Bobbi Brown Face Base, which is my favorite moisturizer and primer, an eye cream, water cream by Tatcha that I really love for oily skin types, and the Tatcha primer that I like to use on pores. I then have these cream shadows by Charlotte Tilbury that I like to use as a base for shadows. I have been wanting to buy Oyster Pearl to put right here, um, I'll get to it. And right here I just have a dark lash glue that I like to use for individual lashes. In this section right here I keep a few travel sizes of the Hourglass concealer. This is my absolute favorite for a more of a full coverage look and a few of the Armani concealer. This has more of a natural finish. It's very glowy. I like to describe it as a concealer version of Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. I also have one Armani liquid shadow. I love this one. It's in shade 12 and I especially love it for bridal. I also keep an eyeshadow primer. I don't really have a preference, this is the one I use at the moment, and Inglot Duraline, which I feel like is an absolute must in my kit. Moving on to eyeliner, I love the Inglot eyeliner you all know about, this is in shade 77, and right here I also keep some tape to clean up any glitter mess. Right here I have a bunch of the Dior Backstage palettes. My favorite is their contour palette, which they don't do anymore, so I'm so scared to run out of it. And then I have a bunch of highlighting palettes and some eyeshadow palettes as well. This is where I keep all my disposables. I have some very tiny Q-tips. These are from Artist Good Company. Some regular Q-tips, lip ones from Artist Kit Company, regular mascara ones that I use for brows, and tiny spoolies which I use for mascara. In this little section I keep a bunch of Vanessa Myricks products. First of all, the clear color fix, black, white, and this kind of mauve color is called Exposed and it's my favorite color fix color as an eyeshadow base. And these I use a lot for mixing. This is another holy grail of mine. I use this as a highlighter for photography because it works really well with flash. Now on to my favorite part, the Artist Kit Company palettes. Let's start from the palettes 1.0. I carry this brow palette. All the products in here are by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have 10 shades of their brow pomade, which I've been using for years, and I find it very versatile, and a few shades of their powders. In this palette right here, I keep all my cream bronzers and blushes. These bronzers are from NARS. I like them because I think they're not too warm toned. Then I have one shade of the Fenty Cream Contour, which works great for lighter skin tones, and four of the Clair de Peau cream blushes. I carry two lip palettes, one with more neutral colors and one with brighter colors. These are mainly from MAC and Charlotte Tilbury. And I have two concealer palettes. These ones are NARS soft matte concealers and these are some of the Laura Mercier secret camouflage. They are both more of a dry formula, so I especially love them on pores and 
uh, skin imperfections. And in the back right here, I keep a tiny Anastasia brow gel, lash glue that I use for strip lashes, freck to make fake freckles, and this little guy to remove any mascara clump. In here, I keep some straight lashes, even though I prefer to use single lashes. These are all the eyeshadows I carry. I have some shimmer shadows right here, which are not repressed for now, and they are all from Natasha Denona. And this matte palette, which I repressed. It contains some shadows from Makeup by Mario, Charlotte Tilbury, Natasha Denona, and VZ Art. For powders, I have this palette made with MAC Studio Fix Powders that I also like to use for bronzer. And this little palette, which is still a work in progress. I have a setting powder and a contour shade from MAC and the Charlotte Tilbury powders, which I still need to repress. Finally, the last thing I keep in here is this blush palette. It contains mainly blushes from Pat McGrath which are my absolute favorite, but I also have a few NARS colors. And that's pretty much it for my 2022 kit tour. If you made it till here, thank you so much for watching. Bye.